Hey guys, Richard here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. So I've got a tip for you today. No, I don't. Hey guys, Richard here with E-Bike Reviews and Adventures. So I have a tip for you today and it solves a problem of mine and hopefully it solves a problem of yours. So sometimes, you know, I have these baskets back here and I don't want them there and I want to take them off. And, you know, or maybe sometimes it's, uh, it's other accessories that you have and sometimes you want it, sometimes you don't. And it requires you to take tools in order to uh, get these things off. And it's kind of a pain in the butt, right? Well, here's what I've done. So I went out and I found thumb screws uh, that doesn't require any tools and it makes it a lot easier to get certain things on and off. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's start with, uh, well, let's just use the, the Mako Scoria right here. So I've got this basket over here, right? And, uh, you know, I don't want it today. So maybe I'm doing, maybe I'm taking this through the woods and I just don't want a large basket back there. So I've got these thumb screws on here so I can just, I can just take them off. Okay, so no tools required, nice and easy. Bam, now it's gone. And uh, you know, I can go through the woods or do whatever I've got to do. This is great, you know, for, uh, for people, maybe you're attaching uh, you know, a different style basket on here or something, you know, I don't know, uh, different types of accessories you might have. All I'm saying is that uh, this works for me and it might work for you, but there's a couple things you need to be aware of. So let me show you. So this only works if you have a rack that is threaded. And what you're looking for here on this rack, on this mock wheel, you see how this has got a raised up spot here. And if you could actually see down inside that hole, you'd know uh, that there's threads in there. So that works because it allows the, the screw to thread into that and then it holds it nice and tight. However, it doesn't work for, let's go over here and use the hay bike. Hay bike went a little cheaper. And so what they have over here is they have a rack that simply has a hole drilled into the rack. There's no threads inside there. So when you drop your screw in there, what happens you're gonna to have to put a nut on the other side in order to tighten it all down. So if you have a rack like this, it's not gonna work for you. But if you have a rack like the mock wheel that has this raised up spot right here, okay, that's gonna work for you just fine. Now here's another thing, let me grab one of these. This also works for the front basket. And sometimes you may want a front basket and sometimes you don't, right? Let's use the, the Zora bike here as an example. The Zora bike came with this rack right here, this part of the rack, and then this basket was optional that you mounted on top of that rack. Well, depending on what I'm carrying that day, I might need to remove this rack or this basket and just use the rack there. So what I did, same thing, I swapped it out and now I have these thumb screws right here that I can easily take this basket off without any tools. Now, maybe you don't have a rack like that and maybe uh, you just have a basket that attaches to the front. We're going to use the Zora bike, or excuse me, the Zora Zephyr as an example. So maybe your bike looks like this and you just have these mounting points up here at the top. Well, these screws right here do the same thing. They work up here as well. Okay. The only thing you need to be concerned with when you're mounting to the front. I dropped that one. Where'd it go? The only thing you need to be concerned with here is you might need a shorter screw because this is only going to go inside the bike so far into these mounting points and you may have some room left over and then the whole thing is going to wiggle jiggle. So what I would suggest is take a look at what you're mounting on here and kind of measure the thickness and measure, uh, you know, how thick uh, uh, these points are right here because you might need to get something smaller. For instance, these screws that came with this bike, they're actually, what is that? I mean, that's less than a half inch. Uh, three eighths or something. So uh, that's how big those are compared to this one here, which is closer to like a three quarter inch or so. So I know this one's going to be too long if I ever wanted to mount something here. I'd have to get one a little bit shorter, but that's okay because they sell them that way. So here's what you're looking for. Let me get back over here in the light. So what you're looking for is you can follow the links down below. It's called a thumb screw, but it's a size M5. M5 is the diameter of the the screw and i think it has something to do with also the the uh, type of threads that are on there but it's an m5 so far that works and that fits for everything that i have here in the garage it's an m5 by 20 millimeters what this one is and so this is great for your back racks because it's plenty long enough no issues there uh, for mounting baskets on the front maybe you need something a little smaller i'd maybe look for an m5 by 10 millimeter or something but that's something that you're gonna have to figure it out 
But hey, I hope this is helpful because it helped me out a lot because, you know, for a long time I didn't install this big humongous rack back here on the mock wheel because this is just not something I'm going to use very often. But now I have a quick, easy way to take it on and off and I don't have to break out the tools to do it. So if that is helpful to you, give me a, a like, you know, smash that like button right now because every time you smash the like button, YouTube likes to share this video with more people because they know people like it. That's how this channel grows. I grow, or this channel grows, with your help. It all depends on you, so I appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop them down below. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of tips, a lot of information. We go out on uh, adventure rides, we do bike reviews and accessory reviews, and uh, all the like. So, hope you'll join our community if you're new here. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Ride safe.